It's important to understand that flooding is the number one most common natural disaster affecting Lake County. And we're already experiencing more frequent, more intense rainfall events uh, compared to historical averages. In 2017, environmental regulations were waived for construction within an area designated as the Electronic and Information Technology Manufacturing Zone, the EITM zone. Uh, this zone includes the Foxconn development site, local road improvements, and uh, the reconstruction of Interstate 94. We wanted to ensure that there's no, no adverse impacts on flooding or stormwater or wetlands that would affect Lake County. Uh, the Upper Des Plaines River in Wisconsin drains down to the state line and through uh, Lake County. We've invested significantly in projects for flood mitigation. We want to make sure those aren't negatively impacted or for our residents and businesses and property owners in Lake County. Uh, the study was um, con completed with uh, the assistance from Christopher B. Burke Engineering and uh, we presented it at the March 7th SMC board meeting. It's open for public comment and review right now through April 8th. Uh, we encourage everyone to review those documents and submit comments to stormwater at lakecountyil.gov. So last month at the county board meeting, we were able to successfully consolidate one of Illinois' 7,000 units of government. Uh, it was a small paper district called the CV Drainage District. Uh, as many of you know, Illinois has uh, the most units of local government of any state in the country. And it's a problem that we want to continue working on. And so this month, uh, Chairman Hart asked me to lead a committee uh, to study the possibility of closing some more of these drainage districts, see if that there's a better uh, and more efficient way of managing managing uh, flooding and stormwater in Lake County. I'm really looking forward to the work. I think it's something that uh, really needs to get done and it's gonna take some time to make sure that there are no unintended consequences. Uh, we don't wanna flood anybody's land accidentally and so we're gonna be thorough and careful in making sure we have the best system possible for managing uh, water runoff. So our board approved the new budget policies for 2020 and if you want to know what's important to any governmental entity, you need to look at the budget. And so one of the things that we value strongly is transparency and communication to our taxpayers. So we've made some important changes to our budget policies, making it more transparent and understandable. So in the past, budgets, it would appear that there was um, the dollars that we would set aside for capital improvements were in our general fund. Now you will see in the budget for 2020 that those dollars will be set aside so it's very clearly allocated for capital improvement. And we will have a capital improvement plan in the next few months where we can really see what are those needs that we have in the next five to ten years and what do we project that those needs will cost. We also took a look at our fund balances and we're utilizing best practices that our dollars aren't too high in those fund balances, but that they're also not too low so that we maintain our AAA bond rating, which we're very proud of here in Lake County, one of few counties in the country that are AAA bond rated. And we are also moving towards um, a budget process in which a variety of scenarios are presented to the board. And that ensures that we are really ready for um, whatever the economy will bring us and that and maybe even different legislation that might happen on a state or federal level so that when we do have our budget meetings in September, we're really prepared to say, okay, this is what we are anticipating for 2020 and we can budget accordingly.